I made this little fluid simulation. I put it up on Instagram. It got me more views and followers than you can count. The reason I did this was because I saw Blendy 3D do something similar as part of a social media challenge inside the Digitally Enhanced Club. He picked up more than 20 million views. Now he's got more than 20,000 followers on Instagram. If you want to learn how to do the same thing, that's what I'm going to teach you in this video. First with shift A, I'm going to add a plane. I'll extrude this plane down, delete this face at the top, and then take these vertices and extrude them outwards. This is going to be the little pool in which the fluid simulation is going to take place. I also want some glass walls, so I'm going to select this edge loop right here and extrude it up a little further. Separate this into new object with P. Now edit this new object separately, select everything, press Alt E, extrude faces along normals to give it a little bit of thickness. Over here in the viewport overlays menu, we're going to check face orientation just to make sure our normals are not fucked up. If you see some red, then you got a problem. You got to select that geometry and press control N. Maybe for you, it's shift N. I don't know if I change this shortcut. Anyway, it looks like we're good. So now I'm going to add a cube, scale that cube down, add three levels of subdivision surface, apply the subdivision surface modifier. Just to make this a little bit more round, I'm going to add a cast modifier from the deform section. I'll set the factor value to one and I'll apply this modifier. Now, if you want to, you can make this even smoother, but you don't have to just go up here to object shade smooth. And now this is going to be the collision object for the fluid. Now we're going to make the fluid itself. To make the fluid source, I used the UV sphere. I placed it around here somewhere. Then I selected this vertex at the top. I activated proportional editing and I set that to sharp. I just lifted this vertex up a little bit to make it look more like a droplet. This kind of looks like a droplet. You can probably make it a little bit better still. It doesn't really matter. People watch the shittiest videos on Instagram, so they're probably going to like this anyway. Go to object shade smooth to make the surface a little bit nicer. And now we're going to start the fluid simulation. To make a fluid simulation, all you have to do is select this droplet and go up here to the object menu go down here to quick effects and click on quick liquid this is going to add a box into your scene which is called the domain this is the container in which the fluid simulation is going to take place now we're going to scale this down a little bit so it fits the size of this pool we want to make the borders of the domain as close as possible to the borders of this pool here you can use a 3d cursor to align the bottom of the domain with the bottom of the pool you just have to place a 3d cursor at the bottom of the pool then set the pivot point to 3d cursor then select the bottom of this domain scale it to zero on the z-axis and that's going to align this perfectly we're going to lower this part down because we want to make the domain as small as possible now you might want to save your blender file because this might make a shitty computer crash but i got a monster laptop so i don't got to save it i know i'll be all right and now if you play your animation you're going to get these little colorful dots scattered all over the place as you can see these dots behave much like liquid because they appear to be connected by a weak intermolecular force i don't know if you paid attention in physics class in high school but that's how you describe the way that the molecule are connected in the liquid they're not like a solid because they're not held together that tightly they're kind of connected but they're not that connected they can move more or less freely compared to solid but not as freely as the molecules in a gas anyway we don't want to have just these little dots we want to turn this into a fluid to do that you have to select this domain and then go down here to the physics properties tab you're going to scroll down to the bottom where it says mesh you're going to check that and now when you play your animation in solid view you're going to see that your liquid starts to look more like a real liquid now before we start trying to make this liquid look a little bit nicer we first have to make this sphere here an effector so that the liquid can collide with the sphere and the sphere is going to make this liquid scatter all over the place and look cooler. That's what's going to make the viewer keep watching the video. To do that, we're going to select this sphere and in the physics properties tab, we're going to click on fluid. We're going to set the type here to effector. The effector type here has to be collision. So now when you play the animation from the beginning, you're going to see the fluid interacting with this sphere right here. Now, I don't want to go too deep on the technical explanations for fluid simulations in this video because I don't want to make this video too long. We got a new section in our Blender School, which goes a little bit deeper on this stuff. You can go check that out if you want a more detailed explanation behind what these numbers mean and how you can make your fluid behave exactly the way you want it to behave now to make this fluid look nicer we have to select this domain and in the physics properties tab we have to increase the resolution to something like let's say 128 and now we have to play the animation from the beginning it's going to be very slow because it needs some time to bake and when this is through baking you're going to get a nicer preview of your fluid simulation it's still going to be a little bit laggy but that's because blender has to process this in the viewport it's pretty difficult for the computer to process this shit but when you render it it's going to look a lot nicer if you want to make this scene look cute you're going to have to go 
go to cycles render in the render viewport this is what our scene looks like at the moment we have to make it a little bit nicer to make it nicer we're first going to take this area light right here and place it somewhere on the side then we're going to duplicate it and place another one somewhere over here on this side now just to set up my camera i'm going to place my view somewhere around here and then press Control alt zero to align the camera with my view now i'm going to select the camera and over here in the output properties i'll set the resolution to 1080 by 1920 this gives you the aspect ratio that you want if you're making a video for instagram or tiktok or something like that we're going to zoom out just a little bit so the simulation fits onto the screen select this frame around the pool and add a new material there in the shading workspace we're going to get rid of the principled bsdf node and instead we're going to add a glass node here connect this into surface now this frame here looks like glass then i'm going to select the ball and add a new metallic material there then select the liquid and then you're going to see that in the shader editor you already have a material here all you have to do is change the color in the glass shader you can also change the roughness if you want to but i don't recommend that you do that this droplet is not supposed to be visible in this video so over here in the outliner we're going to make it invisible in renders and now you just got to adjust the camera a little bit and maybe play around with the lights a little bit more once you feel that your scene looks nice you just have to set up your render settings i'm going to set my render samples to something like 128 maybe 256 I don't want to render this shit all day. Then we're going to go to output properties, set the file format to FFmpeg video. In encoding, you're going to change the container from Matroska to MPEG4. Set the output quality to perceptually lossless. Now choose an output folder using this button right here. Then go up here to render, render animation, and you're going to get your final video. Now, in this case, I rendered multiple versions of this clip where I had different resolutions on the fluid every time. And the point of the video was to show the difference between the lower and the higher resolutions. That's going to acquire a little bit of video editing and production. If you want to to learn more about content production this is one of the things that we teach inside the digitally enhanced blender school like i said we just had a social media challenge where participants were growing their social media so they can establish their name as a 3d artist and as you can see this is the type of shit that's going to put you out into the world and help you get some clients and important connections so check out the blender school there's a link for that in the description also connect with me on instagram if you want to get more ideas for how to produce content that you can use to grow your social media or if you want to ask me questions and stuff like that you can do so on instagram i usually talk to people more than anyone where else on Instagram. Let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next one.